morning everybody i'm just getting ready to leave um to go to my pottery class i'm just wearing leggings and a jean shirt they said to dress down because of the clay i guess so i dress down i'll see you guys there i hope everybody's having a fabulous day and i hope i can videotape and if not if there's people that are uncomfortable with it i'm not doing it so i'll see you guys on the rebound a little bit early and it's pouring rain for two days now um just across the street there's the changing nest i don't know if you can see it hold on over there is the changing nest and where i'm going is just around the corner i'm a little bit early and i'm waiting for it to subside a little bit and then i'm gonna make a run for it well it's really raining i got about a half a block to walk because there's no parking on the main street. Which is really made. Anyway. There's kind of going. The pottery. Well, I'm here. Looking at the stuff people have made. I don't know who's made it, but I think I want to make a, a... That's a nice bowl. I like that. I'd never be that good, but anyways, it's just for fun. It's just something my daughter bought me for a little gift, but um, like in the concept of it, I think I want to make like a little fruit bowl, but I want to do it in black because I have one already in black, right? So, so I keep my lemons and limes in it. So I thought if I do the matching one, well, sort of matching. Let's see. It's Oh, good. oh, they're selling this stuff, so this is done by them, so this is why this is nice. That bowl's beautiful. Uh, the small one's 33. Four small ones are 120. And then the big one is 40. And for a set of four is 140. So they're really nice. Yeah, but I'm definitely early. And then beside that, we have, I don't know what we have in here. Uh, some kind of a salon or something. And we have Swarma Boys, a bakery across the street, and lots of beautiful houses. This is Hyde Park. Really old neighborhood like mine. Very close to my neighbor. It took me 11 minutes to get here. So this is the little setup here. So they take four people at one time. No one's here yet, I'm early as always here yet so I'm showing you this is some student stuff oh they're way better than me it's like kind of Alice in Wonderland teapot these are student pieces but way better than I'll ever be I'm for sure of that um, he's just molding the clay right now I'm early and it is pouring rain so he's expecting people to be late but it's okay and I don't know if this is student stuff too I'm gathering it is stuff like that the gentleman that owns the place he's been here 45 years but i'm talking with his son right now two little bowls like this one and this one yeah little chip fell out of that one that was my first one my second one so the power went off but we got to play so i added some little flowers to mine this one got a little dent out of it and this one turned out pretty good and i'm gonna do them green I want it black, but they don't have black, so green it is. Power went out, so we had to get a little creative, so I didn't get to do my third one, but that's okay. We played around and did a few other things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at the bunny. I don't know who made this, but it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'd find this. Things all cleaned up, and the power didn't come back on, so I'm going to get ready and go home. A little bunny that someone made a long time ago it's stuck between the fence i couldn't even get it out to show you but it's really cute isn't it to be that good i'm really dirty but i don't think the changing nest is open anyways but we'll peek in the window because i'm literally parked across the street those look healthy don't they yeah i don't think she's open on tuesdays anyways i can't really see inside because it looks like the air is on and it's hot outside and She's closed Tuesdays, yeah. So, trying to take a peek here. She's got a beautiful story. She really does. Those pillows are pretty, aren't they? Can't really see in the window. Oh, she's got a cute bunny down there. 
Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing in the... Yeah, too bad. I see she moved the cashier around to the other side. Looks a lot emptier than it usually is. I see someone has a treehouse patio. Not quite as secluded as mine, but still really nice. Not far from home, and I stopped um, at the bakery here because I was going to get um, some ham. Anyways, the power's out up here too, all the way down. Um, they're ripping this door up, like up. It's like all coming down. They got a big hole in the ceiling. While I'm home, the power is still off. It's been about three and a half, four hours. Um, I bought a whole chicken. It was on sale for $7. Three chicken breasts, a thing of bananas, a red pepper, um, a little bit of watermelon for $3, and a sweet potato, which was $2.50. A red onion uh, was $4.29. I said, you can keep it. And then I bought these two because they're on sale for a dollar each. They're just rice crackers. Uh, some popcorn, which I was eating in the car because I was starving. Bought some cold cuts, some ham. And then the turkey I bought was $5.53. I'm at the Duffin Mall. I'm just sitting here because there's nothing else going on. It's um, about five and a half, six hours now with no electricity. A lot of the streets have flooded. We had torrential rains and still no electricity. So. I'm just going to trip around here for a while. Nothing else to do. Power's been out for eight and a half, going on nine hours now. And I haven't opened the fridge once, so, um, and my freezer's full, so they said 48 hours for that. I'm not going to touch it. Anyways, garden's good. Garden got soaked. I haven't seen rain like that in years. It poured. I mean poured. Morning everybody. I'm just having my coffee. Well, I'm actually finishing my coffee. I'm getting ready to run out the door. I'm going up to Vaughn to look at a, a little plant store, a little nursery and with some trees that are on sale. So I'll see what I can find. We had a major flood yesterday in the city of Toronto, a blackout for nine and a half, ten hours. So I didn't finish really videotaping, didn't really get to finish my pottery class, but that's okay. I had a good time. I'm not complaining. It wasn't their fault. So let's go do that real quick. Okay, I'm out at Tara's. Um, there's three of these nurseries, a chain, I guess, and they have specials every day. Yeah, so a special today. So I came for the driving. It's 30 minutes away. It's up in Vaughan. But let's take a peek. Okay. I do want some of this. Uh, not, I don't think it's this one I want. I want the perennial one. Well, I'm going to have to ask. Oh, aren't these beautiful? These are beautiful. But I'm going to have to ask about this. It's not what I'm looking for. I'll take a peek around. Oh, this one fell down. I'll pick that up. Little palm. Okay. Tons of hydrangeas. It's a hydrangea year for sure. They're blooming well. Um, it's what, the 17th today? By the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be closer to the end of the month because I've been pre-recording. And the reason I'm doing that for when I have off days, I don't have to worry about it. So it makes sense for me. I hope it's okay with you guys. Um, these hydrangea bushes. It's not what I'm looking for. It's nice out here though. And it's a beautiful day. Look at all the pretty frogs and stuff. I'd love to have a garden big enough to carry that. Isn't that beautiful? pretty love it okay this is a sale 169 on for 29.99 i think i might get one of these now the other day they had 50 percent off and now it's down to 29.99 loving the price loving it picked three um i don't know which one i'm gonna take there's only six left i kind of like the middle one 
but um, then I kind of like this one. I'm gonna have to really see what, how many branches there is coming out around the sides, right? Check out the Japanese forest grass too. Um, nice set, that's a nice set, I like that. Really pretty. Pastas are here, these are definitely perennials. And, oh, let's see what I have. Maybe it's over here. Oh, those are pretty too, right? The painted ferns. I have a little clump of them. They're lovely. Okay, so what are these trees? Japanese maples. I don't want a maple. I have a big maple beside me. I know they're prettier than the ones that, but I just don't want that. What is this one? Maybe this is it. I want 20 dollars for it and I think it should be marked oh some of it's marked 30 percent and maybe it's the one behind I'm gonna take a look but um I think that's a little much so I might look for something else I love them I mean love them beautiful aren't they so pretty I do have a chunk of that already though so I don't really want to repeat that um Oh, I like those ones better, yeah. I wanted to find the, what's it called? Can't think of the name of the hoster I was looking for. These ones, look. I like the leaves on this one a lot. Well, at least they have some perennials to pick from. Just have to find, I like this, this is pretty. This one's really pretty, isn't it? A pretty wet area for this, but this is beautiful as well. Really pretty. Just trying to see what they have here. Take a little peek. Looking for deals for sure. There's no doubt. Definitely don't want apple trees. Looking more for perennials than I am anything. Well, I only want perennials. What's this? This is pretty. It's a shrub. Very pretty. Not what I want though. Well, the tree and I are kissing. It's that close to me, but it is what it is. I'm totally out of breath. I broke a branch trying to get out of my car. It sat in the front seat pretty much with me the whole way here. Anyways, I'm home. I have it in the hole that I started, but it's nowhere near deep enough. But I might move it over just a little bit more over this way. I think I will. Bunch of bags of soil too. I think I'll move it here instead. So I got another hole to dig, but I like the centering of it better. So I think that'll be it. Started digging a hole last week, but I don't like where it's centered, so now I have, I just dug out another plant and moved it, the grass stuff there. Um, I think I'm gonna put it there so I got, you know, two feet to deep down, to dig down. It rained yesterday really hard, so I'm gonna try to get out here in a little bit and do it. Right now, I just uh, cleaned everything out of my car and then got the tree out of my car, moved all the bags of soil, moved the tree. I'm a little tired, I'm gonna take a little coffee break and uh, get back to this in a little bit. This tree needs a little bit of a trimming, I can see, and that tree needs a big trimming, but that's not happening today. One thing at a time. So now I'm gonna focus on digging a hole for this. I got five new bags of soil, garden soil. I didn't buy any pro mix or anything for this, it's just the front garden. And I wanna build the soil up a little bit anyway, so. I'm gonna put a couple hostas around it, and I am looking for Japanese forest grass but i want that for over here for down there and for over on this side here on this corner i think i want three of them when i get there they weren't on sale today so i didn't buy them they wanted 19 dollars each and they were about the same size as that little grass one there and i thought no i'm not doing it i'll find them on sale move it a few inches either way but it's kind of where it's gonna go i'm thinking anyways there, it blocks the house and that, but not too much. Totally had a coffee break. I'm gonna give it my best shot and try to get this planted today. I need to go down about two, at least two feet, two feet wide. 
at least. I'm gonna take a little breather from that and go over here and try to plant some Virginia creeper and get that in the ground. Oh, I'm gonna be here for a minute. There's a lot of roots I gotta cut out. But um, working on it. Well, I'm gonna end my video. I dug as much as I could. I got about two feet wide and about one foot down. I need about another foot and a bit down. I started to hurt my rotator cuff, so it's it's so many roots. Well, it's surrounded by two trees and one that I just took out, so th there's a lot of roots in there. But I'll get it done. I'm just going to take my time doing it. I am going to close, though, and I will catch you guys all on the rebound. At least I found a tree. Now I just have to find um, some Japanese grass and a couple more hostas, and that garden will be done. Maybe it'll get done this year, maybe next year. I don't know. It depends what sales I find. I'm only going to buy stuff on sale. I said that garden will be done. Is a garden ever done, you guys? No. Anyways, loves, guys. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And if you haven't already subscribed, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And it really helps out my channel. I would greatly appreciate your contribution to subscribing. Thank you.